In this video, I'm going to show you how to do one-way ANOVA using MATLAB. And if you're not one of my students, uh, this actually follows a handout that we do in class. And I'll explain uh, the basics of one-way ANOVA or analysis of variance. So first, I'm defining the data set as strength, and then I'm using a, a matrix to set that up. And if you recall, we have to use brackets at the end of the matrix. And we're gonna do a row of data, and at the end of that row, we're going to have a semicolon in order to signify that's the end of the row, and we're gonna start the next row. So you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of data here. I'll go ahead and run this code, and you'll see the matrix that it builds. You can now see that we have a, a six by four matrix. We have six rows, four columns, and this is our data set, and this is how it looked in the problem for the example that we're doing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to call the ANOVA function. And remember, we're doing one-way ANOVA, so we'll just say ANOVA, and then put the one at the end of it. And then we have to tell it what um, data we're using. We're using that strength data. Once we go ahead and run this, this will generate some output. It gives us, first of all, the ANOVA table, and I'll explain the components of the ANOVA table. It also spits out uh, a, a variation of the box plots right here, so we can look at that. And then down below, it gives us the answer. This is actually the p-value, and that's up in the ANOVA table, and I'll show you where that is. So in the ANOVA table, just to read this, the columns are the uh, factors, treatments, or groups, depending on what type of textbook you're using. Since this is an engineering stats, we'll refer to these as treatments. And the first column are the sums of squares for the uh, the treatments, the error, and the total. The next column are the degrees of freedom for those respective treatments, error, and total. And then we have the mean square for the, the treatments or the column right here. And the mean square, that 127.597, we can actually get that by taking the 382.792, that sum of squares for the treatment, and then dividing it by that three, which is the degrees of freedom for the treatment. And that gives us this value right here. And then similarly, the uh, sum of squares error, 130.167, and then 20 for the degrees of freedom. If we divide that sum of squares by that degrees of freedom, that would give us this mean square for the error. And then the F statistic is the ratio of two variances. So I'm taking the 127.597 and dividing by 6.508. That gives us our test statistic, that F value right there of 19.61. And then we're using the F distribution and the appropriate degrees of freedom in this F statistic right here in order to determine the probability. And this probability, you can see it's 3.59258 e to the negative sixth, which means we need to move that decimal place over six places from where it is to the left. So we have a very, very small p-value, and that indicates that we're going to reject the null hypothesis. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of information on the um, ANOVA table along with how to do ANOVA in MATLAB.